Once the balance is calibrated, you can accurately measure the mass of a sample. Follow these steps to measure mass with a balance. Place the sample on the pan. The pointer will point above the indicator line. Move the 100 gram rider to the right until the pointer is below the zero mark, then move it back to the left one notch. Repeat the process with the 10 gram rider. Move the 1 gram rider until the pointer lines up with the zero mark. The mass of the sample is the total of the three beams. 100 grams plus 70 grams plus 5 and 42 hundredths grams equals 175 and 42 hundredths grams. The mass of an object can be estimated to one-tenth of the smallest marked division. The smallest division on the balance below is one-tenth of a gram, so the mass can be recorded to one-hundredth of a gram. Two people may read the same mass and record different answers. This is called the reading error. In this case, the reading error is plus or minus one-hundredth of a gram. The measurement 175 and 42 hundredths grams includes five significant figures. The 1, 7, 5, and 4 were read directly from the balance, so those values are certain. The 2 is an estimated value, so it is uncertain but still significant.